This week, we'll be going over the Little Rocket Man achievement in Half-Life 2, Episode 2. This is probably one of the most famous Half-Life 2 achievements that there are, because I was hearing about this one before I had even paid any attention to achievement hunting. And so let me know what parts you have trouble with when going for this. I think I know what the most common answer is going to be, but I'm kind of curious to see if everyone else kind of has the same experience that I did. And if you like this video and want to see more, consider subscribing because here we put out weekly videos all generally centered around achievement hunting. And now, let's get into the video. Starting out, you won't actually find the gnome until you reach the building where Alex first makes contact with Magnuson. The gnome will be sitting under a table in the corner of the room. And as you go through the game with the gnome, remember to save often and always make sure you know where your little gnome buddy is. Because remember, he's not a Ganelf, he's not a Ganoblin. I'm a gnome, and you've been gnomed! But really, you'll want to keep track of him because he can get lost very easily in some of the areas coming up. So really in the beginning, it's pretty simple, just pick him up and take him with you as you run through the map. Of course, anytime you're going to drop down into a new area, make sure the gnome goes with you, and remember to save often so that when the gnome slips away, you won't have to replay too much of the game. Once you get to the antlion caves, I recommend setting the gnome down in spots where there's light, kill the antlions, and then pick him back up and just repeat that over and over. Also, don't drop him in the water because he can be kind of hard to find if you drop him in water. You'll be going like that for a while, but that's really all that's needed in these caves as long as you're careful to keep track of him and bring him with you as you move forward. Eventually, you'll get to Vortal Coil, where you'll have to defend a Vortigaunt as antlion waves come down tunnels. Here, you'll want to set the gnome in this back corner behind the Vortigaunt for safekeeping. You'll actually be leaving him there for a while as you'll grind out these antlion waves and then move on to the next area. But don't worry about taking your gnome bud with you. His job is to guard Alex Vance, and you'll return for him later on. So once you move on from there, you can basically just speedrun through the rest of the antlion tunnels all the way until you get to the part where the Vortigaunt gets the antlion larval extract. Then you'll return to Alex, G-Man will give you a glimpse of the gnome's future ride, and then you'll need to pick up the gnome and take him with you up the elevator. After you get to the service, you'll want to run through the thumpers and set the gnome down right next to the very last one. Dispatch of the two antlion guardians and then you're free to pick the gnome back up and proceed further. Now shortly after that is where you'll split up from Alex and the Vortigaunt to go get the car. You can either shoot the gnome up into the air and over the wall to get him to land on the other side of this metal door that you'll be opening later, or just carry him with you, whichever you prefer. I took the slightly safer route of carrying him with me just to be sure that I don't lose him. And uh, definitely don't try to slip him under the metal door that you open for Alex. Trust me, you won't have time to open the door, run over and grab him. I tried for a little while. So going through here isn't too bad, once again just keep track of him and run through. Once you have the car, we start getting into the more tedious parts. As you can imagine, keeping the gnome in the car is quite hard to do. So there are a few methods that people tend to use. The first being wedging him into some part of the car to try to keep him there and drive. Generally that's either going to be the back window or just in the cab with you and Alex. Or you can do what I call the gnome passing method of shooting the gnome ahead of you, driving up to it, picking it up, and repeating. I did a mixture of these while going through this next area and really through the rest of the game. So just be sure to keep track of him and save often. Then once at this next gate and group of buildings, you'll leave the gnome in the car near the gate and go through the hunter ambush to get the power back on. They're not gonna catch me off guard. After that, you can hop in the car and repeat those methods to get through the next area where you'll meet the advisor face to... Probasis? You'll leave the gnome in the car here as well until it's time to drive again. Now once you get through all that, it's time for what I think is probably the hardest part. You'll need to be driving fast enough to escape the hunter chopper, 
while also keeping track of the gnome and bringing him with you. I'd recommend just gnome passing your way through most of this and taking cover when possible to get out and launch the gnome ahead. It may take you a few tries to get through the train area specifically, but once you get through this, the achievement gets back to being fairly straightforward. Then when time to fight the Hunter Chopper, just toss the gnome under an awning and fight it normally. Then after it's destroyed, pick him back up and go to the garage where we'll leave the gnome for a little while. Now in the garage, don't leave the gnome in the main area on the ground level as the gnome can disappear when they fix your car and it teleports in. So we'll just come up here to the upstairs part and leave him somewhere up there. You'll then go outside to take out the combine, return to the garage for your newly improved car, and pick the gnome back up. And now we are back to driving with the gnome and carefully making sure we don't lose him for a while. But if you made it this far, just keep doing how you've been doing it and you'll be fine. Eventually you'll reach a barrier where you'll be ambushed again, so leave the gnome in the car here and return once you survive the ambush and take down the power. And now it's back to gnome driving or passing the gnome down and picking him back up. During your travel, you'll be briefly interrupted again by a roadblock, which Dog will help you clear. And then you'll have to race Dog to White Forest. Now since we do have a gnome on board, we're not going to go driving too crazy. You can get the pedal to the metal achievement on another playthrough. Once to the gate of White Forest, you're pretty much done with this. Just follow the resistance fighters through the complex until you meet up with Magnuson and Dr. Kleiner at the rocket. Now a very important thing to do at this point is to set the gnome in the hatch on the left side of the rocket and close the hatch door. Remember, you have to close the hatch in order for the achievement to pop, and it will do so as soon as the hatch is closed. And with that, we helped our gnome buddy get to the rocket and receive the Little Rocket Man achievement as our reward. So, come on by our community discord to chat about whatever games you're currently working on and show off those sweet game completions. And like always, if you liked the video or found it helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below with what games you'd like me to cover next.